So here at Corny, we get a lot of questions about wheels. It makes sense, right? We get a lot of the same questions about offset, low rating, PCD, and the difference between A and B profile. And on this video, we're gonna wrap it all up together. I'm Luis from Koenig Wheels, and we're gonna get right into it, so check it out. You hear the term offset a lot. Now, what exactly is offset? Offset is the distance between the mounting pad and the center line of the wheel. So as a good rule of thumb, the more negative or lower the offset is, the more it's gonna stick out of the car. And now to Scott. To further illustrate this point, here's a real world example on a 2017 STI. We're gonna show you two wheels. One is the Koenig Freeform ET35, and the other one's the Koenig Freeform and the ET25. Both are 18 nine and a half. You'll notice that on the lower offset wheel, the 18 nine and a half ET25, the wheel will push out 10 millimeters more. Now what exactly is backspacing? Backspacing is the distance between the mounting pad and the back of the wheel. And also, if you have a big brake kit, you're gonna want a lower offset because that's gonna give you more clearance to clear that BBK that you have. Now another one that we get asked about a lot is load rating. What exactly is load rating? Load rating is the maximum amount of load or weight that the wheel is designed to carry. So let's be clear here. When it comes to the load rating, we do not determine that, the vehicle manufacturer does. Now, how do you find that load rating? We're gonna show you right now. So for example, if your heaviest axle weight is about 3,000 pounds, each axle carries two wheels, meaning that you would have to divide it by two. For this particular example, the wheel that you choose for your car should be rated no less than 1,500 pounds. So what exactly is PCD? PCD is pitch circle diameter. Now that's by definition, but when it comes to this, it's all about sizing. PCD is simple. It's the diameter of the circle that passes through the wheel bolts. So for example, we're looking at this ramp from right here. This is a five and 114.3 millimeter bolt pattern. What that means is it's five lug, right? So there's one, two, three, four, five lugs here. Now, when we're talking about 114.3 millimeters, we're talking about the PCD of the wheel. So one of the questions we get asked about a lot is A and B profile. Now, everybody wants a more concave wheel, but what do you do to accomplish that? Just to let you know, A and B profile is a term that we made up here at Koenig, and there's a whole video that Scott made that explains it in depth. But here, we're gonna break it down in smaller doses. A profile tends to be a little bit less concave, and in most cases, flat. Reason why is because it gives you more caliper clearance. So, for example, if you have a big brake kit, the A profile wheel is gonna be a better option for you because it can give you more room to fit that big brake kit. So the also popular B profile. What is B profile? All it is, it's a more concave wheel. B profiles tend to be a little wider, have less room for big brake kits, and have a lower offset. So make sure when you get a B profile wheel or an A profile wheel that you consult your wheel and tire specialist or you're welcome to DM us and we'll answer any fitment questions that you have. For more in-depth explanation about these wheel turns, make sure to check out our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions about fitment, make sure to email us at fitment at koningwheels.com or you can write the questions down below and we'll make sure to answer you guys. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being with us. I am Luis from Koenig Wheels and we'll see you in the next one. Peace, man.